you ever struggle to figure out your attempts and your openers and powerlifting meets, I'm going to show you my method of working backwards to determine your openers and two choices for each attempt in each event of a powerlifting meet. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so this is Canva and this is a probably chart I made about three years ago based and for your attempts I started with an opener that I could hit three times on squat and I make one category for my second attempt one number if the first lift was easy, one number if the first lift was hard, and then the same. So second attempt, if the second was easy, this becomes my third. If my second was hard, this becomes my third. So make a format that makes sense to you so that when you look at it during competition, you're not completely confused, because sometimes we all get a little airheady in the middle of competition. Um, I did one for bench and one for deadlift. Always start with your opener, and then make a branch for easy or hard based on how that felt produce a number, easy or hard for how that felt. That's pretty much it. It's a good way to stay organized. My other suggestion is to take a kilo conversion chart with you in case you have to make any changes and you don't have to be like looking up on your phone or going up to the officials table to look at the chart they usually have to know what number to put down because a lot of times these poundages will be in decimals once you convert them to kilos. Um, so hopefully this helps you stay organized, efficient, and cool on meet day. This is Lisa from Strength Foundation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.